Shiba Inu family, what is happening? So Arizona Senator had some great things to say about Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and really all of cryptocurrency. Arizona is trying to become the most crypto-friendly state in all of the United States. We're going to talk about what they're actually doing and what the senator said about Shiba Inu coin and what it represents, at least in her perspective, of uh, you know what what really stands for what what shib and doge and all these community driven tokens what they stand for uh, because it's, it's bigger than just making money right as we all know and feel this thing has gotten out of control with shib right and I'm so happy to have a seat at this table and now even U.S. senators are taking note on how this has changed lives how this is impacting United uh, the United States and people within the country and all across the globe for that for that matter it's not just here in the u.s it's absolutely everywhere so we're going to talk about that here in this video as well before we do let's take a look at the overall crypto market look at this up over five percent it is a green day baby we are up over nine percent on ethereum just crossed over 2800 loving where that's heading look at solana it is back up 19 and a half percent today polka dot storming ahead We've got so many assets in the green right now. Phantoms in the green. Uh, Leo's in the green. Filecoin, 7% increase. Ave up about 12%. My, oh, my, this is looking amazing. Uh, all across the board, we're seeing green painted everywhere. Now, let's jump in. According, um, according to this, according to Arizona State Senator, Shiba Inu and Dogecoin represent freedom. So the two biggest meme coins by market cap have penetrated American political discourse. In a tweet, Arizona State Senator Wendy Rogers claims that she doesn't understand these coins, but she does understand freedom, arguing that people should be able to buy whatever cryptocurrencies they want. I don't understand the SHIB. <laughs> I don't understand the Doge. But I do understand freedom. There's the quote from Wendy Rogers here this morning. Love it. The apparent attempt to court the communities behind the two popular canine cryptos comes after Rogers introduced a bill to make Bitcoin legal tender in Arizona last week. That's right. They are trying to make Bitcoin legal tender in Arizona. Arizona Senator has introduced a bill to exempt Bitcoin and other cryptos from taxes as well. Uh, wow. They are trying to become the most crypto friendly state in the United States. On Monday, the pro-Trump Republican, who has also gained notoriety for being part of the election denial movement, and making a slew of headline-grabbing inflammatory comments, also proposed exempting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency from property taxes. Feeling left out, members of the XRP community started spamming Rogers' Twitter account with mentions of the Ripple-affiliated crypto. The politician ended up asking her followers, asking her followers about the controversial crypto to the great delight of the community. Expectedly, her tweet ignited yet another tired debate between the proponents of Bitcoin and XRP. Uh, Dylan LeClaire, on-chain analyst, was quick to call the latter a scam, enraging the uh, XRP army. Ripple has been sued by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, over unregistered XRP sales. That has been a hotly contested topic of discussion. Now, uh, this is Dylan LeClaire's tweet there. The bigger question or the bigger issue um, at hand here is, will Arizona be able to get this through? Now, Rogers is not only the only far-right uh, politician who's trying to win over cryptocurrency investors. Republican Ohio Senate candidate Josh Mandel was widely mocked on Twitter last month after awkwardly espousing his support for the world's largest cryptocurrency. Now, I don't really care what side of the political aisle these senators and people in power are on, as long as they're crypto friendly. I could care less if they were a blue or red cap. I, I could care two shits. I'm all about crypto. I'm all about decentralization. I'm about freedom. I'm about giving the power back to the people. And so is the senator here of Arizona. As she said, Shiba Inu represents freedom. And there's no question. And it allows people in the U.S. and all over the world to have access to opportunities, access to make money that is unlike anything we've ever seen in our lifetime. It is giving the power back to the people. The governing body is the people. That is decentralization. That is DeFi. That is Shiba Inu, and that is a wrap on this video. Although, one more thing before I wrap it up. Come on over and join us at the Patreon. When you become an insider today, great day to do it, first of the month. Weekly live streams, private members-only podcast. That is happening today, 12 p.m. Eastern. 
one-on-one -on -one interactions on Discord and Patreon with you. Uh, you can message me directly, meaning we're going to have hot weekly crypto alerts. I'm going to send out buy alerts, sell alerts, profit taking alerts, any great uh, news sources and pieces of information that I need you to see. They will be sent to you via Patreon. And then, oh yeah, we have a Discord on the back end where we're talking about crypto 24-7. All of that going on behind the paywall here. And uh, that's what I've got for you. See you all very soon. I'll talk to you. Bye.